Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Matt and welcome to another Minecraft tutorial. You're late. Yeah, I know it's been a while, but I am finally back with the next episode of this series. And in this episode, we're going to be first of all, building up this stuff that I've done inside the base there. So we're going to add a little bit more fleshing out to that. And we're also going to be filling in these towers, the outlines that we did in the last episode. So without further ado, let's get on and start this. We're gonna begin with this interior section. And the first thing we're gonna to wanna to do is give a little bit of depth to these arches by extending them in towards the center. We are gonna be using a combination of cobblestone, stone, and stone bricks randomized in the same way as we did all these walls. And if you want, you could also add like these mossy variants of those in as well. So we're gonna to come to the edge of the arch and we're gonna extend this back one, two, three, and four. And we're then gonna extend this. We're gonna keep doing this around the whole edge of the arch. So this is what your arch will look like when you've done that. As you can see, it goes all the way around the edge of the arch and this extension back in towards the center is flush with the edge of the arch there. We're gonna continue going back now, but we're gonna extend outwards by one block. So rather than extending like that, we're gonna extend here. And we're gonna do this for nine blocks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And we're gonna do the same as we've done here, except the whole thing is gonna be one block out. So it's gonna be extending from there. And then on this bit, it's gonna be extended from there and so on all the way around the outside. Okay, so this is your completed arch from the inside. And of course, it goes without saying that you're doing this for all four of the arches. So I've gone ahead and done that. And now what we need to do is we're gonna fill in these sections between the arches. And for this, we are gonna use just smooth stone. And basically for each level here, if, if that's one level and then this picks a second level and a third and so on, for all those levels, you're doing a straight diagonal line between the two like that. So I'm gonna bring that all the way up to the height here. And then for this one, I'll be doing a diagonal line like that and bring that all the way up and so on. And assuming you got these arches right and everything else right, this distance here between that one down to that one should be seven blocks. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna fill all these in and I'll see you guys when that's done. Well, that is all now filled in up until the very top of the arches here. And as Mumbo is fond of saying in his videos, this looks a whole lot more solid once it is all filled in. One thing to note guys before we move on is mob proofing. Isn't that right Mambo? I desperately need to mob proof this base. Yeah, so the most obvious place you need to do that is of course under these arches and later on anywhere else in the base that gets covered over with some kind of roof and becomes really dark like this. But it's also worth remembering that mobs are gonna spawn behind here once you cover this over, which although they're not gonna be a threat and able to get at you, it's still gonna make your base really loud. So I would definitely recommend throwing a few light sources or buttons or pressure plates or whatever you want to use to spawn proof this area behind here on all four of the corners so you don't have that issue with your bases. The last thing we're gonna do before we move on to some of the outside stuff is build up the internal supports for the middle of the space. So we're gonna to come to the central block here and whichever direction we're starting, we're gonna count one, two, three, four, five, and six. And either side of that sixth block, place some smooth stone like that, and one more like that. Once you have laid out that outline for the pillar, you're gonna extend all three of these until they are the same height as this top stuff up here. Once you're at the top, you're gonna to go diagonally like so, until you hit that side there and you're going to do the same for this bit here until you hit that side over there if you've done all that right you should end up with an almost square shaped hole at the top that looks like this now we need to give this pillar a little bit more shape so we're going to start from the bottom here we're going to count up one two three four five six and seven leave all those blank and then on the eighth either side of that we're going to build up three four five and six on each side like that. Then we're gonna come out one more and we're gonna build this all the way up to the top like that. And again, we're gonna do this 
copy it across to there. If you look at the side of this now, you should have this indentation, which we're going to cover up again with smooth stone. So we're going to come out like that and then fill all this up to the top. If you're leaving this hollow like I am, just remember to stick a torch or something in there and spawn proof that block so you don't get annoying mob sounds from inside. Same again, do that on the other side as well. On that bit you've just built, leave one, two, three, four, five blocks clear. Put a block there, then come out one more and build this all the way up to the top. Same on the other side. And then like we did before, we're gonna cover up this indentation, except this time we're gonna come from one lower like that and go up all the way up to the top. So from that one you've just done, this one here, we're gonna come up two and place a block there. Place a block on top of that and come out one each way like that. Build those up to the top. Then in that bit between those two bits you've just done there, come down two. And last of all, on these ones either side, like that. And that is that full side of that pillar done. And for the last time, you just need to mirror everything you've just done over there onto this side. So that will be our first complete pillar. And now I need to go and do the same for the other three. A lot of smooth stone later, and that central area is gonna look a little something, well, a lot something like this. We're gonna go ahead and leave all of this now then for this episode, and the rest of the episode we're gonna be working on filling in these outlines that we built in the last episode. Before we start filling these in, however, I do have a slight confession, which is that I'm pretty sure I actually got this little section here slightly wrong when I did the episode. I had it going as three blocks like that. And in fact, having looked at it a little bit more in preparation for this episode, I think they should be like that. So I'm gonna go ahead and quickly change all of these to look like that instead of like this. And then we'll get on and fill up all these towers. Oh, and when I say I made that mistake there, I should stress that I'm talking about the top halves of these outlines, not the bottom halves. The bottom halves should look like this because if I look underneath, you can see how they do in fact have that triangular shape. Anywho, me not knowing how to build a triangle aside, we are gonna crack on and get started with filling in these outer towers. We're gonna start at the sides of the towers and once we've done those, we'll build up the back and we're gonna begin by building up these central pillars of smooth stone and we're gonna add nine more blocks on top of what we've already done. Once you have done that, you should find that there is a one block gap between the top of where this is and the bottom side of this edge here. We're gonna go ahead, we're gonna stick one more block of smooth stone on that inside so we get a diagonal like that. And now we need to build up some cobblestone on either side of it like so. Now Mumbo, he uses mostly cobblestone so there's a bit of contrast between this and the stone brick of this. He does have the occasional stone brick block mixed into these like there and say there. I'm just gonna use cobblestone for mine because it's quicker for my recording. It's up to you whether you want to use just this pure cobblestone or mix in a few of these like this. Either way, it should look pretty good. Once that cobblestone on this edge gets to this height, we're gonna add three blocks of smooth stone on top. And then we're gonna continue doing this up at our diagonal. So you get a diagonal line of smooth stone coming up in the middle of the next one, each column being three blocks high. You want to do six sets of those three lots of smooth stone like that, so that this diagonal edge of smooth stone is a total of eight blocks. Once you've done that, we're gonna place two pieces of cobblestone underneath each one, and then a single piece of cobblestone on top of each of them, except these end two, because these end two are gonna continue up and be that central pillar of this next section. So for that next section, each of these two central bonds should be 31 blocks high. And then at the top, we're gonna to have another six of these three block bits at a diagonal, like so. Now we'll catch up with the cobblestone. So we're gonna do a pillar of cobble on either side of this central bit. And once we get up to that diagonal up there, it's gonna be the same as this one. One block of cobble on top of each of them and two blocks underneath. And now for one last time, we're gonna pillar up with these two in the center. 
and this time they're going to be a total of 25 blocks high and that's including the three blocks that will already have been there from that diagonal that we've just finished. Once you reach the top you're going to do one last set of these diagonal three blocks of smooth stone only this time there's going to be 10 of those as opposed to only six and once you've done that we're going to finish by surrounding the whole thing in cobblestone in exactly the same way as we've done for those two first sections. Now when you're done with that first side it's going to look a little something like this. I'm going to go ahead and mirror everything that we've just done onto the other side of that tower and then we'll come around and we'll take a look at how the back of it goes. Right so I've done that and now to make a start on the back the first thing we're going to do is we're going to bring these two blocks with some cobblestone on both sides and these two central blocks with the smooth stone we're going to bring those up to the same height as this first block up here once you've got that we're going to place any old block on the inside of those two there and we're going to use that as a base to build three blocks of smooth stone in an arrow shape like that pointing towards the outside and we want a total of six of these arrows going up like so we're then going to bring these edges in like that just until they cover over that gap so they're just touching the edges of the arrows so there's what that will look like once you've done it and we're going to take these two blocks and we're going to build up 28 blocks like this on top of each of them which should bring you level with the tops of these ones here come back down here and we're now going to build up our cobblestone like this all the way up to the same height on each side then we're going to go ahead and do another six of these arrow thingies and do the same again bringing those in like that at the top of that build up 22 blocks on top of each of those and do the same again that we did before building those up and then last of all we're going to do another 13 of these little triangles to bring us all the way up to the top and continue doing that at the sides. Once you've done all that it's going to look like this at the top so to finish this off we're going to put a block there and then blocks like that and now that looks a lot straighter and a lot more finished. So that does it for this first tower and I know what you're going to say what about the underside? Well I've definitely seen a few of Mumbo's videos where he's done all the rest of these three sides but not that underside. I am sure that it will get done eventually based on the fact that the actual base of that tower has an inside bit but I haven't actually double checked that yet so for now we're going to leave that until I can double check that I might do that in the next episode uh, but for now I am going to go watch an episode of Hermitcraft and fill in these three towers so I'll see you guys once I've done that and we are done so we have made some really really good progress in this one hopefully that's made up a little bit for the fact that this took a little bit longer to come out I will try and get the next one done a bit faster as always there's going to be a world download in the description so if you do need to check out any parts that are build in more detail feel free to go ahead and download that if you enjoyed the video make sure you drop a like and subscribe so you don't miss any more future videos from me but until next time guys I have been Matt and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye bye.